Hi, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com. And this time out, I'm going to talk about scams. And more specifically, I'm going to talk about um, employment scams, scams, finding a job, and then apartment scams, finding an apartment. So these are two scams that uh, were directed at me. So these are personal scams. These are what um, I went through, and I'm relaying uh, um, them to you, uh, which you can look out for so you don't get scammed. Um, most of them are just fishing expeditions to get your information. And in one case, I knew it. In the other case, I didn't. Um, I was too trusting, and I sent too much information, I think, on that one. But uh, I think it will be fine. Uh, they can't really do anything with the information that I gave them. And it's not anything you can't find online anyways. Uh, I got the curtains open. Uh, and I don't have the lights on. If you see my other videos, I usually do just because the fact that I'm I'm moving. And recently um, I found a new job, which I start on August 15th. And so that's the reason I was looking for employment because uh, my last day of my last job was the end of June. So this is not here anymore. Um, I responded to a advertisement, which there's tons on here. So... Um, I forget if they contacted me or if I put in for a job here. Shit, I wish I still had that, you know. Um, it's very possible either way, but it doesn't matter either way because these people, you see these people right here, which are all legit. These are all legit people. Those are people that uh, reach out to you. They're, they're um, recruiters. They go online and they find people that... Um, who are looking for for work so open to work right and you can put this if you just go into your settings you can do the same thing you go in here and you go to frames and then you can you can put that frame on there and then recruiters will know that um, you're looking for employment so anyways um i got this i think i applied for a position i got this uh, message and it gave me this email um, and I already knew it was bullshit because it was an outlook.com uh, and I already knew it was bullshit because this person claims to be from Bristol Myers Squab, which I didn't know what that was. Um, it's, it's a big business. It's a pharmaceutical business, Bristol, uh, Myers Squab. Myers Squab. Okay, I think this is it. So it's a business. So it's, it's a big business and it's a well known business. I mean, I didn't know what it was, but I'm not in the medical field. Um, this is a real person. So if I do a search on uh, LinkedIn, this person will come up. The person I'm talking to is not this person. Someone just found this person's name, what they did, where they worked, and um, they used that as their, uh, their alias, their scam. Uh, ID. So this person actually, if you go, and I'm not going to go to their their LinkedIn, um, you can go if you want. And there's a whole conversation about someone who's using her identity to recruit people. So if you're looking for a job and you get contacted, um, make sure it's not a Gmail or a Yahoo or an AOL or an Outlook.com. Make sure it's the business. Um, and then do a search, make sure other people uh, have that have that business, right? So for instance, all right, I'll do contact. No, I'll do at mymediahelper.com. Mymediahelper.com. And I should come up. Just wanna show, no, that's not what I wanted, you knuckleheads. Um, all right, I'll just do this. At mymediahelper.com. So what you want to do is you just want to find other addresses that have, right? My business is mymediahelper.com. I actually own, well, I don't own the domain, but I pay for it, right? On a yearly or bi-yearly uh, basis. And then with that ending, you can also, you can probably find their website because that's usually what it is. The ending of your email is usually the website. So typically. 
So that's the first thing I wanted to um, direct you at. And I can go down these a little bit if you want. It's work from home opportunity and extra. Hello, Christopher. So I emailed from the message that I received from LinkedIn. I said, hello, I received a LinkedIn message below that I'm attaching a resume. I attach my resume. It's not anything you can't find online. Anyone can go and fucking find it. Um, so explaining the job, uh, 22... 10 hours. There's my resume and my cover letter resume cover letter. Yeah. I sent a resume and cover letter and not a big deal. Um, so this is, you know, it kind of looks legit. I knew it was bullshit just cause of the outlook.com. So I just corresponded a little bit and then eventually they said they want to send a check to me for $3,500 to pick up, um, dedicated computer printer. No company is going to do that. No company is going to send you a check for any money. If you're going to work remotely, they are going to send you the equipment through the mail. So that's second. <laughs> that's the second thing uh, that rang a bell in my head. And that's when I kind of said, uh, wow, 3,500, where will I know? Where will I know to buy the equipment? And she says, you will be instructed to purchase the necessary equipment materials. Kindly send your full name as it should be on the check. Valid phone number, which is fine. You can find my number easy. Address, you can find my address easy. So I don't know if they eventually go and ask for your banking information or what they're after. But I go, why do you have an Outlook email address? Isn't Bristol Myers able to afford a URL address? It's pretty big. And then um, I never heard back. That was so they kind of got the clue that I knew it was bullshit. So that was that one. That was for the job. So make sure it's a legitimate email. It's a business email, not Outlook, not Yahoo, not AOL, not um, Gmail. And um, yeah, if they're going to send you a check for $3,500 for equipment, yeah, don't do that. All right. That was the first one. So, so this next one's a little more complicated. So I'll try to tell it the best way I can without stuttering and stumbling. Um, so along with uh, a new job on the 15th, I need a new place closer to my job. Um, this is where I live now is a few towns over and with gas prices and everything, I want to, I want to live closer. So if you go to uh, Facebook, I've been looking both on Craigslist and Facebook. That's how I found this place is through Craigslist. Uh, if you go to Marketplace, the, the place that I live in now is, was through Cra uh, Craigslist, and I didn't have any problems um, with any of the apartments I looked at. This just happened to be the right price and, and everything. So go to Property Rentals. You put in the town as the filter, and then you'll go and, um, yeah, you'll just um, look at all the pretty apartments that are around you. I was kind of naive because it was so easy the first time to find an apartment. I didn't look at I think I looked at two. I think this was the second one I looked at um, and none of them were scams. So I wasn't even thinking scam. I wasn't even thinking in this case and I should know better. Um, so here's the two apartments in question. Now, first off, they look like something out of a fashion magazine or a, a living magazine. Um, that should have that should have rang a bell in the first place. So this is the one that I looked at. This is the one I messaged on. Um, because I just want a studio apartment. Uh, that's all I need. I just want a place for my computer. I can sit and make videos, sleep, eat, and go to work. That's all I do. That's my life. I just explained it to you. Um, so I did message. The message has been deleted by the other party. So I cannot show you the message, unfortunately. I wish I would have filmed it um, beforehand, but I didn't know what was going on beforehand. So I can't uh, predict the future. So I sent a, a canned uh, response. It's, a, it's something to the effect that, okay, is this still for lease or still for rent? I got a message back stating, oh, it's my aunt's place. You can contact her at so-and-so at gmail.com. I didn't really think any of it. It's not like finding a job where, okay, if you're contacting the person, the business should be at like, right, mine contact at mymediahelper.com. When you're looking for a place, it's not necessarily business that's renting it out. They could be subleasing. It could be a million other things. It could just be a person um, who has one place to rent out. Um, that's what this was. Um, so I wasn't thinking, and I, sh I should have been smarter on this. Um, so anyways, I sent it for this place, the message in my email. I, this is one, right? one bedroom, one, one bath, one bed. All right, and that's what this says right here. One bath, one bad apartment, 800 a month. This is the one I sent the email on. She sent 
or he or whoever this person is. And let's talk about the email. Nice little picture, Anna Griffin. Nice little picture of a couple. That's not her. She just grabbed that someplace. She's not Anna Griffith or he's not Anna Griffith. Says, hi, my name is Anna, 37 year old. I work in the army. I didn't think anything of that. Property available indefinitely. So you can stay as long as you want. It's quiet. So I didn't really think of any. That's not unusual uh, for people to have places and, and be in the military it's, uh, or have jobs overseas or something to that effect. So I didn't really think anything of it. She sent all these pictures, which is great. I'm actually going to grab one of these pictures and save it. Uh, I think I already have one saved, actually. Let's see if I got one. Oh, okay, let me, let me grab this one because this is going to be part of the video. There we go. Uh, you may ask, okay, so what about you've got to sign up for Facebook, right? In order to put an advertisement for anything on here uh, to sell anything. So here's one of them, um, Trudy Holtz Photography. Uh, let's open that. So I should contact them and see, have they been compromised? Have they been, did someone hack into their account? I'm not really sure. Um, the other one is a site that hasn't been updated in a gazillion years, Houston General Contractors. I don't think it's been updated since 2018. So I'm not sure if that's this year or not. Call now message. I mean, I could call them, I guess, um, but supposedly these are who put, put that on there. Houston, <laughs> isn't that in Texas? I don't live in Texas. Um, so I'm thinking they got hacked. I guess I could pursue it and contact these companies and tell them what's going on and ask them. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. So if you look at this, and I should have known at the time, these look like professionally done pictures. I didn't know if that was Rochester or not. It could have been. I can't really see the background. It's a city. It's not a huge city, but there's there's buildings and everything. So, but what did trigger something in my head is this is the apartment that I originally emailed on. Two different people, two different entities, and they sent me these pictures here, um, which was the other one, which was their other scam. So, that kind of got me thinking. What they wanted also was to go through Airbnb, which I've heard of it before. I didn't exactly know what it was. I set up an account here. Here's my account. Um, so that seemed legit. Uh, basically, Air, uh, Airbnb is you find a place that a rental or something. If you want to go on vacation, you find a place that you want to go to and you rent a room or a house or something to that effect. So the person told me they want to go through this um, for the deposit and first month's rent. So I didn't really think much of that because it's um, it's secure, right? It's secure for both entities. It goes through a third party. So I didn't think much of that. Uh, so I sent more information about me, um, just so you, you know I can I can sympathize or I can relate to the fact that you don't know if it's your place, you don't know who the hell um, you could be renting to a, a psycho, a serial killer, <laughs> a total slob, like a um, a collectomaniac or a hoarder or something to that effect. So I, I get the idea. Of, can you tell me a little more about yourself? I get that. It's the fact that. Um, the last piece of information that they asked for uh, was a photo ID. Now, I didn't send my license, so that's a good thing. Uh, I won't tell you what I sent, but they can't do anything with it. Um, you actually need the physical thing in order to do anything with it. So I'm not sure what they can do with what I sent them. I don't think they can do dick. So that was basically their fishing expedition. And as soon as I sent that motherfucking thing, it really got me thinking. Wait, a, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. They're not going to get back to me. Nope. All day. They didn't never got back to me. So I knew that was going to happen. So I took the picture, which I just downloaded. And what you can do um, here, where the fuck did it go on the desktop? Let me put it on the desktop. So let's put it here. All right, let's go back to Google. 
let's just put in Google reverse image search. So right there. All right, and then you have search uh, an image on Google. So let's try this one. So I'll open that another. another. Go to Google Images. All right, search image. Uh, upload. Go to my desktop. There it is, right there. And then you can see all this lovely stuff. Look what looks very, very, very fucking familiar right there. Should have fucking done that in the first place. So the first thing you need to do is, especially if it's a, a pristine staged picture like this, and I'm kicking myself all day long, um, do a, do a Google search, image search, and I'll put the link uh, down in the description. So this place is in London, and here it is, right here. Now I'll show you the, I'll show you the pictures. All right, and let me show you the bedroom. All right, boom. Let's go back to my email. So as you can see, uh, things are gonna really look familiar. There's the bedroom again. Is that the one? Yeah, it's not the one. This one? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so London, her email, website, her email. Fucking fuckers. I, I'm not sure how these people fucking sleep at night. They've got to be the lowest pieces of shit on the fucking planet. Well, you've got child molesters and I guess murderers. And then you've got these pieces of shit. So at that point, I knew it was a scam, right? I knew it was bullshit. I pointed out the bullshit. I'll never hear from this person again. I'm not sure what they can do with my information, if anything. If they want my identity, they can fucking have it. Good luck with it. I don't know what they're going to do with it. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't own any property. I don't have any money. So um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with, with my identity. But uh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. I, a simple person, I live in a small apartment. I mean, getting in a smaller apartment. I don't have much. Uh, I do it by design because I don't want much. Uh, my life is uh, unique to my, myself. So good luck with that. Whatever you're going to do with that, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, as a precursor to that, what I signed up for is, and I'm not going to, this is not an affiliates thing. I'm not going to put a link down in the description. You can look up LifeLock on your own if you want. Um, I signed up for this just out of curiosity. And it's a 30-day trial. So I'm not selling LifeLock. They didn't contact me for anything. I don't, my channel's not that big enough, big enough for getting sponsors or anything. So uh, I did a search on myself. I'm going to show results here. And really what I have here is nothing really to be too concerned about. Um, it just, you ever go to, you ever uh, Google your own name and you find sites like this where half these places, uh, my address history, uh, I haven't even lived. I've never been to Georgia, Westbury. I don't even know where Westbury, New York is. So most of this is bullshit. A lot of it's bullshit. Relatives, some they get right, some they don't. <laughs> And that's all these are, is um, they're all pretty much the same. You can get them off of there. Um, this is where they are, Instant May, Truth Finder. Let me see, view details. I want to opt out, take me opt out. And then you can opt out if you want, I don't give a shit. Um, there's nothing they can do with that information. Like I said, if they want my life, they can have it. They're going to be very disappointed. So as I was rendering this video, I shit you not, while I was making the fucking video, this came into my inbox. So this is this supposed Anna Griffin. The lady probably does exist. I'm not talking to her. Who knows who the fuck I'm talking to? So uh, it says this is the error in your booking email. Now you have to pay for the booking. First off, you don't 
pay via email. Let me show you um, what was sent to me. So here is the supposed invoice, right? So here's my information, my phone number, that's fine. Um, there's the bill. Now you have to pay Bitcoin. Now I know where the scam is, right? Very easy to um, determine what's going on here, right? So there's their Bitcoin wallet and that's supposedly how you pay. That's the new way to pay uh, through um, uh, Airbnb. But it really isn't because this is how you pay. <laughs> it's not hard to look up, right? So um, you just, you book wherever you're going, payment info, get receipts, under payment details, go to scheduled payments, and then you pay through. That's what, it's like a GoFundMe, right? This page is the same thing. It's a third party. It's to secure, it's to help both parties, uh, protect both parties. You pay through a third party. So, I mean, we all know that, right? So I'm supposed to go find a, a Bitcoin payment machine, which I think there's one around here. Uh, I've never seen one. Um, you know, you can find one. Oh, they present you with a, a link where you can find one. And, and then you just put the money in their wallet and then they go about their day with your $1,600. So that was the scam. I'm glad they emailed me while I was doing that because I wasn't really sure what the end game was. And now I know. So gals and guys, uh, I kind of put this in the middle because I was almost done. So now we'll go to to the end. All right, gals and guys, that's it. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned something. I hope um, you don't make the same mistakes um, I did. And I hope you don't make any mistakes at all when you're doing searching for your uh, job or your new place to live, your apartment or home or whatever the case may be. If you could please subscribe, I would appreciate it. I would like to monetize the channel some someday. It's not now. It's a very small channel. So um, your contribution of just subscribing will help me very much. I do like money. I don't um, spend a lot of it. I don't have a lot of it. Uh, if I can monetize my channel, that would be great because I would um, love uh, uh, some type of side income with my other income. And then, <clears throat> geez, excuse me. And then uh, please share. Uh, if you know someone that's looking for an apartment, if you know someone that's looking for a job, um, hopefully these clues will help them out as to what to look for and things not to get into, uh, things to look out for. And then um, please like if you like the video, like it if you didn't like the video, and then hit the bell. And I know it's a long thing to say at the end of every video, and I get sick of saying it, but um, they say that's how you grow your channel. I don't know. And um, I'm going to do something more fun in my next video, I think. I'm going to do another Craigslist video just to cheer myself up after this. Okay, guys and gals, gals and guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.